Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Moxie DIY in Java. My name's Michelle. Today's video is all about bringing the outdoors in. So grab your cup of coffee or your favorite beverage and join me. All right, to get this DIY started, we're going to use this cold gray by Hippie Crafter. And I'm going to use this print that I found on jane.com. I'll see if I can find the information and link it down below. But it's mainly a field of white flowers, which is really beautiful, but I wanted a little more color. But it's a very muted color in this print, so I wanted to keep it with a very light color gray, which is almost a blue color for this one. So I'm going to create a field of white flowers and blue bonnets because as you know, I live in Texas. I'm just going to be using this embossing tool, the small end, and I'm literally just going to be making little dots throughout. And once I finish a small section, I'm going to take a piece of paper towel. Unfortunately, I lost my footage and I'm going to lightly press down and then bring it straight up. And what that does is that it kind of blends the paint so it matches a little better with the existing print. So these DIYs are going to be going from easy to a little more time intensive. Now this particular garland I found at the Dollar Tree, the flowers are glued onto the twine, which is great because that means that the flowers are going to be facing the right direction the whole time. And it's the same with this next garland with the daisies. They are sewn onto this string that they're hanging on, which again, it means that they're going to be facing the right way. So there's nowhere that I can slide anything on. So I figured what we can do is use this flower sack and just make tears and it's going to create this really beautiful frayed edge and almost reminds me of the decorative grasses that we have around here in Texas. I think it's called Mexican feather grass or something like that. And so we're going to make seven rips and then we're going to cut those in half so that way we have 14 and then I'm just going to place them sporadically on the garland. To attach these strips, I'm going to be doing a slip knot or a lark's head knot, and I'm just going to be putting them after every flower and before every flower. My friends and I wanted to come together and give y'all some nature inspired DIYs. And I'm joined with Ellie from DIY from House to Home, Favi of Arrows DIY, Becky of Kinda Shabby, Shannon of Shannon's Crafty DIYs, and Marika of Marika's Creations. And I will have all of their channels listed down below. I cannot wait to watch this playlist because during the month of April, we've got Arbor Day, we've got Easter, we've got Earth Day, and just really, really want to bring all those beautiful colors in. Now this wreath is actually inspired by a bouquet I got a little bit ago, and I just love hydrangeas. And these particular floral stems that I got, I think they're from Joann's, but hydrangeas have these gorgeous big leaves, so I really want to utilize those to kind of emulate the big leaves that hydrangeas have. And this took four hydrangea bundles from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, whatever I do on one side, I'm doing to the other. <laughs> this almost looks like little rosy cheeks. And I'm going to weave in 
some greenery with the florals and just kind of make it look like it's a more realistic floral arrangement. Now I have been dying to use this planter bust for a long time and Garden Answer had a really beautiful succulent display. Hers was real. We're going to make a fake one because succulents and I don't get along. got our drapers we've got some medium-sized ones some small ones and some large ones and we're just going to follow her design pretty much and just kind of add them throughout now of course hers is real and ours is fake but I think this turned out so pretty I love the look of succulents but like I said we just don't see eye to eye <laughs> they like more water sometimes they like less water I don't know I've never been able to keep them alive but if you have the secret please post it down in the comments because I would love to know and I'm sure the rest of the viewers would probably like to know as well. Now these succul succulents that I will be using today are a combination of Dollar Tree and Amazon. It was a group of 18 and it's a really good mixture from Amazon and I will try to post that link down below as well as the link to the, this bust that I'm using. As you can see, I am working from largest to the smallest, and then I'm going to be using these small little pieces just to fill in any gaps where we might see that foam or just gaps in general that maybe don't look so great. I just love all this texture. What do you think? This video went super fast and I can't believe it. We're already to the end. I would love to know which one of these is your favorite or maybe which one you might try yourself. Comment down below. 
My favorite has got to be the bust. I've been wanting to do it for so long, but I already have this blue bonnet print on my counter behind my stove, and I just love everything else. It's actually up in my home, and I'm using it for decor. Well, my friends, as always, I'm so thankful that you spent your time with me and I hope to see you again in the next video. And until then, take care.